A lot of people these days are becoming more and more interested with critical illness and how it works. What basically is the idea of a doctor, he was seeing too many patients having to return back to work upon diagnosis of something like cancer or multiple sclerosis. Now, what would you rather have yourself do? Get diagnosed and then have to return back to work immediately to help support your family? Or, as soon upon diagnosis, receive a big lump sum benefit that you can dispose of at your will? And by the way, the, ta the benefit is also tax-free. So, let's say there's a working family, the husband is the sole provider, and he all of a sudden one day becomes diagnosed with cancer. Now, if he has critical illness insurance, he's going to get a benefit of anywhere from $50,000 up, and it's all going to be tax-free, that he can use up, that he can dispose of at his own will. So he can seek better treatment, he can take time off work, and he has time to fully recover. And let's compare that to someone who doesn't have critical illness. Right away, you're going to see all their savings and everything they worked hard for deplete and have to go to maybe medications, um, coverage, and at the same time, they'll be working to help support their family. So whose shoes would you rather be in? Would you rather protect yourself from the future with critical illness, or would you rather have to work through something like cancer? Critical illness insurance also has a really good option. Now, that's the return of premium option. What happens there is, if you own the policy for 15 years and never make a claim, then you have the option of getting every last pay premium that you paid into the policy back to you tax-free. Think of having critical illness insurance as a savings account. Because if you never make a claim, all that money you put into it is going to come back to you. But at the same time, if you do make a claim, you're going to get a tax-free lump sum amount of dollars that you can spend at your will. Now, did you know that 1 in 2.5 people are going to be diagnosed with a critical illness before they hit 65? I think this one's a no-brainer. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my website, VancouverLifeInsurance.co. I'd be more than happy to sit down with you and talk about other advantages and other benefits critical illness has to offer.